Okay, moving on from the last video, we'll go ahead and start Nastran. We'll go ahead and navigate to this um, directory where we are containing all of our optimization uh, working directory, if you will. Uh, we'll find that model BDF. Uh, this is the same BDF we augmented to perform an optimization. All the statements needed for optimization have already been created. So let's go ahead and run this optimization. And just to quickly recap what our goal was, our goal was to minimize the weight. Uh, initially, we had a max bomb EC stress of 69,000 PSI here at the the root of the cantilever plate. So we'll see if the optimization enabled us to uh, at least resolve that constraint issue. So let's go ahead and... Uh, refer back to our working directory. You'll notice a few new files have been created. Let's go ahead and look at our F06 file and scroll all the way to the bottom until we see our results of the optimization. So this is perfect. We get the successful message saying that run terminated due to hard convergence to an optimum. So it has found an optimum. Let's go ahead and find out um, some more information about this. Uh, rather than look at this data here, let's go ahead and actually view this in Excel. Um, here's a CSV file that was created during the optimization. I'll open this file and then move it to the left. I'll do the same for this other Excel file that's in the one directory. So double click that and I'll move this to the right. You'll be prompted to enable the content, so just click Enable Content there. We'll go ahead and take all of this text from our left-hand CSV file, and we'll paste it beginning in cell 1. Once you do this, the tables in this Excel file on the right are updated to reflect uh, the new values. So let's go ahead and take a look at a few things. Number 1 we weren't able to minimize the weight of the structure. And the reason is because since we already had a von Mises stress that was really high, Nastron saw that what we needed to do was to actually increase some of the thicknesses of the cantilever plate. Here at the beginning, our thickness for the whole plate started at 0.1 for thickness 1, 2, 3, and 4. After that, they branched off. You can see that the thickness at the root, X1, actually was increased to a value of approximately 0.14 inches. The thickness of the second section ultimately went up to a thickness of 0.12. Uh, the next thickness stayed around the value of 0.1. And our last thickness, which is at the tip, was at a value of 0 0.06 inches. Uh, the good thing about this is that now, let's go ahead and jump back to Patron. We have the confidence that Patron, or Nastron rather, went ahead and made sure that the von Mises stress here at the, the root was within the 36,000 PSI range. So let's go ahead and uh, unattach my old XDB file. I'll go ahead and navigate to that working directory where we perform our optimization. And the new XDB file contains both the results for the initial design and the results for my optimized model. So here, let me click on subcase uh, one, and then we'll go ahead and view the stress, von Mises stresses right now. So again, at the beginning, we had an initial stress of 69,000 PSI at the root. Here are the second row. And the way you can differentiate these two subcases, here if you look very closely, it says D0 or design cycle zero, at least that's what I believe it, it indicates. This is the initial design. D4, which corresponds to the final design cycle four, is the optimized results. So when I have this selected and I click on stress tensor of Amesis, I can now see that the highest stress or von Mises stress I have in the structure is 36,000 PSI. So this is perfect. The optimization capability 
vary the thicknesses and land me right on the edge of one of the constraints. Now, let's go ahead and finish this whole video series by updating our original model. So here on the right is our original working for working directory for the optimization. Here in this original plate is where we first built our Patran model. We performed our first stress analysis. That's when we found out we had an issue with the stress. So what I'll do now is in the top right hand corner, I will go ahead and create a new directory called plate optimize. In this folder, I will go ahead and take that original BDF file. So we'll go ahead and copy that and paste it here. This BDF file, again, is where we started off from. It contains a description of all the node points, the loading, the connections for the elements, etc., etc. But it has old information for the thicknesses. If you recall, we vary the thickness on the P-shell statements, which is this P-shell and the other P-shells. We have to go ahead and update these so the BDF file is then updated to the newest thicknesses. So let me go ahead and look at this for a moment and let me track down our other thicknesses. Here we go. So P shell one is in row 25, P shell two is in row 76, P shell uh, three is in row 119, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, these all have the old thickness of 0.1. So now we have to update this uh, with the th new thicknesses. So the first thing I'll do is I'll delete P shell four. I'll delete P shell three. And I'll do this for P shell two and P shell number one. During the optimization, Nastrum produced a new punch file called model.pch. Uh, this is again in your working optimization directory. In this file, our updated P shell entries for, for, for the P shells we just deleted. So what we can do is we can just, or rather before I do that, you can see the new thicknesses of 0 0.138, 0 0.12, 0 0.09, 0 0.06. And these correspond to the thicknesses at the end of our design optimization. So I can go ahead and uh, copy these entries, paste them into this original BDF file. And now we've gone ahead and updated this uh, first BDF file with the new thicknesses. And so here in this directory is our final BDF file that's been updated to the new thicknesses after we perform the optimization. Um, that concludes the end of our video series here. Uh, hopefully you found this uh, video very interesting and very helpful actually. Again, my name is Christian Aparicio. My email address is here. If you want more advanced training, if you are starting off performing optimization, you want guidance on performing an optimization on your own, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than glad to set an hour or two a day's worth of time to sit down with you and go through your optimization uh, questions. With that, thank you for watching and I look forward to having you watch my future videos.